everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is going to be 8 things I wish I knew in my early 20s. Okay, so uh, firstly, I'm still in my 20s, but I am in my late 20s. Yeah, so this one is things I wish I knew in my early 20s. Okay, so let's go. Now you might say like things like early 20s and late 20s got difference, man, but really there's a huge difference okay in terms of like energy and like many other things also so because uh, different stages of life before then maybe you were in uni you were still having like lots of friends and now you are moving to the working world and you only have colleagues i mean colleagues can be your friends also but uh let's just say colleagues are not exactly school friends as well it might be a different dynamic yeah so let's go eight things i wish i knew in my early 20s okay Okay, so uh, these are the 8 things that I wish I knew in my early 20s and then I'll be going through uh, them one by one, okay? So let's start with the first one. Uh, you should start saving money as young as possible. Yes, this is uh, because uh, before you even start working, if you actually save a pool of money and you actually invest it, uh, by the time you are working, right, you already have a head start uh, compared to others. People I think like this like wasting your youth because it's like... Uh, you are not parting, making full use of your youth, right? But parting all this, you look back, is like just memories and that's all. Lah. Okay, so if you don't start saving and investing early enough, you probably need to continue working into your old age to sustain your retirement expenses. Lah. Yeah, so you might be thinking, oh, my parents are never ever saved and they are doing fine. They are still in their retirement. They are doing fine while they are 60 plus and then... Uh, are they still working? I'll ask you lah. They are still working, right? Do you want to continue working at 60 plus? Of course, at 60 plus, it's still okay to continue working because like uh, technically it helps you uh, keep active, all this thing, right? But uh, it's about choices lah. So up to you, okay? So most of them are still working and, and the thing is they derive an allowance from you. So the thing is, are you going to have kids to derive an allowance from? And uh, whether you should actually derive an allowance from your kid is also another question lah, okay? Yeah, so they derive allowance from their children because they are invested into bank accounts. Invested in the bank accounts, uh, what do I mean by that is because they never ever invested. Like, they just squirrel their money into bank accounts. So uh, that's why they are still working. Like, yeah, They just rely on CPF and bank accounts. That's why. Okay. So some of our parents' generations also had the pension schemes provided by the company, by the government. Because they work like long time in a uh, company, right? But nowadays, there's no more companies that give you this. And then most of people just go like company hopping, right? Yeah. Okay, so if your current dream job right is uh, not dream job or current job is not AI proof, right, you will spend some of your working days or even months being jobless. Uh. So there is a period of time that you think you will be working, but you might not be working. Okay, so because uh, your job will be taken over and replaced by AI. Everyone knows like AI is so damn popular nowadays. Everything is about AI, right? Yeah, chat GPT, all this thing. Okay, so um with globalization also, uh, I mean globalization has happened since a long time ago, but now with even more globalization and ever since like COVID, there's been a lot of people working like uh, overseas, digital nomads, all these things. So company can hire from anywhere. They don't even hire from Singapore alone. So if you're like Singapore and then your skill set is like obsolete and then uh, you will probably be jobless for quite some time. Lah. Yeah. Okay, so always good to uh, start saving as young as possible, especially if you are not in a good degree. Your degree is uh, one of those that are easily replaced by AI. Yeah, please think for yourself. Okay, build a capital for your investments, for your business, and then generate other sources of income, not only from your job. Okay, so if you only generate income from your job, right, when you are uh, X because of the AI and also X because of other things, then uh, you totally have zero income and then. Uh, your dream to save enough for retirement by the time you want to re hit your whatever retirement age will not be there lah, okay? So retirement needs to plan, be planned for and you cannot rely on just uh, CPF forever. So what if the PAP ruling government, PAP, becomes incompetent? I just as an if, okay? And or, or, or they get like overturned and then uh, there's no more PAP, you know? Yeah, so you need to think for yourself, okay? Don't just rely on CPF. Please think for yourself only, okay? Money saved in your younger age is worth much more in your later years. I believe everyone has heard this quote before. If you invest it properly, lah, okay? Because uh, 
it's like ten dollars now compared to ten dollars or ten years later. Obviously, ten dollars ten years later is gonna be like super worthless, right? Now ten dollars is not very worth. Like, not a lot of money, really, right? Yeah. Okay, so now let's go to the second point. Second point is this is the best time to buy insurance. You are young. You are no have no illnesses, and then uh. Everything is fine with you, right? So this is the best time to buy insurance. Why? Because it covers you for a longer period of time because until now, all the way until your death, there's a longer period of time. And firstly, also like uh, any accident, illness can gravely disrupt your financial and physical life. So definitely you need to plan for it, right? You should plan for it immediately after you graduate from uni or even when before you graduate from uni even. Yeah, I mean, you do have an income before you graduate from uni. You should have already started planning for it because anything can develop in uni. I believe you have some uh, friends in uni that happen like they suddenly got cancer and then they suddenly need to stop schooling because of their health or whatever. Did these people actually buy insurance when they in uni? They did not because they want to wait until they started working and they buy, right? But the thing is, there's no, there's no like a, too early to buy insurance there's always too late to buy insurance okay so yeah so when you're still young and healthy premiums are the cheapest this is the time to buy okay please buy uh when you're still in your early 20s and then uh things that you will regret exclusions uh loading uh, a lot a lot of things okay yeah so please buy as young as possible and then what are the type of financial considerations i really say out for you so basically a uh, hospital accident okay disability income and then uh critical illness and death okay so if you need more information in this portion i have many other videos talking about this portion of uh financial planning okay so and if you really really need help please feel free to dm me on telegram this is my zhuan chang zhuan chang is specialty okay so yes please approach me okay this is really a very 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 bad valid point okay please take note of this okay next is to uh Point three, learn more skills instead of partying, which has no value, la, which I told you, no value except for the memories. So you should hustle while you're still young and energetic. But once you reach your mid-40s, I tell you, someone will be younger than you and better than you at what you can do. Okay, And you also no longer have the same energy and drive because you are like, um, ah, 40s where I'm old. Okay, and it's just uh, like a physical thing. It's like, just most people at 40s, they just stop having the drive. Okay, yeah. Okay, so uh, during when you're young and in uni, right, don't keep playing around. Take out more internships in university, develop your portfolio, get a feel of what you like and don't like in terms of jobs. Okay, so many people uh, don't choose the right job when they graduate and then they regret it. Like, okay, so join more CCA, learn more skill, expand your network and net worth. Uh. Expand network can help to expand net worth. Okay, so the thing about YOLO, right, is like you can... If you don't know it's YOLO, it's, uh, you only live once, okay? You can YOLO at any age you want. You don't need to YOLO when you're young. You can YOLO when you're 50 years old. You go and do bungee jumping if, by all means if you want to do it at 50 years old, okay? doesn't have to be in your 20s. If you have money, you can YOLO any damn time you want, okay? So, uh, please build your money first before going YOLO, okay? Yeah. Okay, so uh, point four. So do not spend money on things that you won't need or remember in 10 years time. So I, I understand this. This is really, really easier said than done. And so many Gen Z's out there are spending like money like water nowadays. Like I speak to my sister. Is she a Zen, Gen Z? Yeah, yeah, she's a Gen Z. So I speak to her, right? And she's like, uh, $50? $50 is nothing. You know, $50 last time is my one week pocket money or like a uh, few weeks pocket money. And it's like, it's like really a lot of money to me last time but okay i understand now 50 dollars uh because of inflation the value of 50 dollars has really really plummeted okay but yeah but still it's a good thing to like save the money and then grow it okay yeah so time is money but money is not time it's very cheap right time is money time can help you earn money but money cannot buy you back time okay that's what it means okay but money can grow with time Okay, confusing, right? Yeah, internalize this sentence. It's good. Okay, things that screw you up, uh, things like uh, bad friends, uh, negativity, uh, addiction, uh, all these, please kick all these things. Uh, kick bad friends, kick negativity, kick addiction. Okay, then uh, some habits that will make you poor, please take note. Please kick all this if you have. Uh, gambling, yeah, gambling. Yeah, a lot of people have. I think I also have. But um, for me, it's like one of the meaning of life okay but i don't gamble like crazy like just like 适可而止, you know okay gambling 
Yeah, smoking is the worst, I tell you. Smoking is like waste money, waste health, waste everything. Yeah, so uh, smoking, please cut, please cut. Alcohol, alcohol makes you happy, I guess, but uh, uh, health also bad, and then money also gone. So, alcohol, nah, you can cut it lah. Okay, buying branded goods. Not buying branded goods is like really one of the worst ways to spend your money lah. Okay, branded goods. What what are you gonna do with the branded goods? I mean, unless you can resell it lah. Like you buy a handbag, then you use it. You think you can resell it for a higher price? No what? If you're talking about like watch or all these things, maybe you can. But buying branded goods for the sake of like looking rich is like um. A waste of time. I know he's freaking looking at you, yeah. Okay, so um, habits that make you pro- useless subscriptions are like OnlyFans, okay? So uh, I believe there are better ways to spend your money than OnlyFans, okay? Yeah, so let's move on to point five. So point five is uh, X out useless instant gratification and learn this thing called delayed gratification. So you can train yourself, right? Delayed gratification is usually much more uh, rewarding. So imagine you want to spend 10k on that Chanel bag now or enjoy 100k 10 plus years later. I tell you 10 plus k later, you will get 100k. You like maybe you invest in this stock, I tell you, you get 100k. Then you want to enjoy the 100k later or you want to spend the 10k on that stupid Chanel bag now? Yeah, so you choose it yourself lah. So uh, for those who will choose point two, which is get the 100k 10 plus years later, these are the people who can rough out the storm, persevere until they succeed. So I used to be the person who spent 10k on the Chanel bag now. So I, when I was young, I spent like uh, I think 20 to 30k on like uh, slimming salons that didn't even work. The worst thing is they didn't even work. Okay, so 20, 30k, imagine I put into the stock market uh, 10 years ago. I did have 20, 30k 10 years ago. What is the value now? Okay, imagine 7% a year. Uh, ding. How much already? I am lazy to count lah, but probably at least 40, 50k extra by by now. You have doubled what? Right? 7, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have doubled in 10 years. See, at least 50k extra. Just uh, by not going to that stupid sleeping center. So I not only waste money at the sleeping center, I waste time and then Waste money, waste time, and then I didn't even feel shook at the sleeping center. You think they do nice things at the sleeping center? You know what they do to me? They take like a machine, right? Then they just keep banging me. Eh. And then I went back with like all blue blacks. Yeah, that's what happened at the sleeping center. So, uh, looking back, this is a uh, really a regret. I uh. don't ever go to this kind of sleeping centers. Doesn't work, one. Okay, you want to slim down? Go and exercise. Uh, go and um eat clean or whatever. Please don't go to sleeping center. It doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. So for those who choose to again these are the people who are sow the seeds of today for the future so if you are always living in the point a1 right you always like to spend the 10k on the chanel bag and you look back 10 years later after that right uh 10 years you look back 10 years later after the 10 years i mean 10 years forward you look at this 10 years you will regret because you will say hey why everyone doing so well i doing like i just have my chanel bag which is already in tatters huh probably yeah Okay, so uh, the smart way for you to grow your wealth is to buy assets instead of items. Lah. So, when you think of buying McDonald's, please think of buying the stock instead of McDonald's. Lah, huh? I mean, McDonald's is food, so they're like staple food you can still buy. But like, uh, think of buying maybe, um, I don't know, LVMH or whatever. Why don't you buy the stock instead? Huh? Why you buy the, the bag? Is anyone going to look at the bag really? I mean, I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to look at the bag. Lah. Okay? So examples, those people who rough it at the gym to achieve their dream body, these are the people who are in the second group of people. And then another example is like, uh, for example, you are number one, la, one, one is uh, number one is a spend on Chanel bag. Man. So uh, you always uh, watch show or do online gaming every day. That's, that's that what you do every day. That's all. No self-improvement. Watch online shows uh, and gaming. Okay, so... Instead of like uh, trying to do a night side hustle to grow your money, uh, whatever grab, trading, TikTok or whatever way you can generate your income. La. So these are ways that you improve yourself. You upgrade yourself by going for night classes or like uh, a night classes don't generate you any money but it improves yourself as a person. Okay, So all these things help to improve your life, improve yourself and you feel more fulfilled also. Okay, So with increasing lifespans, right, everyone's like... Um, know that uh, in Singapore, the lifespan that we have is keep increasing, right? So we must be more like person, uh, sorry, there's a spelling error, more like person AI, which is this enjoy 100k, 10 plus years later, as you have more future to plan for, okay? 
Understand? Yeah. Now you move on to point six. Okay, so point six is uh, your first job is very important. Please choose well. So if you haven't had a career kind of job, if you do those kind of like uh, part time uh, uh, grab delivery, all this is not called first job. Okay, please think of first job that like you graduate from uni. That's your very first career that you want to embark on. That's called first job. Okay, when you're young, your take on life is still changing and highly influenced by the people around you okay so it's the thing is like if you go to those kind of companies right that is like um super close off then your your worldview will develop to become like that that's what you will become you want to become like that okay so it's very 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 important to choose the right company choose the right occupation and the right industry okay because all this will really influence your whole life because that's controlling the way you think like, because like I mentioned your take in life is take on life is still changing okay so uh, choose the right company stock them everywhere network well make sure it's the right company okay then next go into the right occupation okay so right occupation is a uh, you need to balance the salary versus learning like cannot be like zero salary or learning right yeah so you need to do a balance okay yeah choose the right industry also some industries as you know will be sunset industries like those that will be taken over by AI example uh, example accounting industry yes these are some of the sunset industries that will be taken over by AI well, very soon right nobody need to do any accounting stuff or AI will do for you okay and then uh yeah so I'll choose the right industry and then uh if you haven't went to uni, please choose the right degree. Although degree is not very important, honestly, degree is not very important. It's what you learn from the degree that is important. Your skill sets, your attitude, all these things, okay? Passion versus bread, okay? So what is passion versus bread? It's saying like, uh, yeah, you can have a dream, like what you want to do for your life, and then what is your dream occupation. But first, make sure you get the money and the ability to fulfill your dream. So let's say I want to uh, start an F&B business. But then I, I totally don't know how to run an FMB business. I got the money. I don't have the ability to run the FMB business. Then I do see me as an FMB business. Waste time, right? Waste time, waste money, right? Yeah. So have a dream, but make sure you got the money and ability to fulfill your dreams before starting on that dream, okay? It's not a I mean you want to make your dream a reality, right? You don't need to remain a dream, right? Yeah, so that's what I mean lah, okay? So 9 to 5 jobs are not the only way in life. Do not make your career choices based on... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> there's a typo error again. Yeah, so uh, don't make your career choices based on society or parents because last time everyone says uh, being a doctor is good, being a sci- uh, being a lawyer is good uh, or being a dentist is good. So all these are the like top 3 uh, occupations that people want to be. But uh, is that what you really want? And then... Uh, is it i mean it's gonna really influence your life like if you come in any of this uh, industry like being a doctor you'll see a lot of death you'll see a lot of uh, scary stuff uh yeah so all this will affect your life view and then uh, being a lawyer i guess you'll become very cynical all these things so really all these career choices will affect your whole life la. yeah i know a lot of people say that your job is not your life but uh it's gonna be a big part of your life la. that's what i'm gonna say Okay, so do not be scared of failing, trying new things, and uh, please have self-discipline, okay? So both saving and earning power is very important. So you need to you need to uh, get a good job, get a new good salary. So your salary, good. That's one thing, uh, but you don't save well, then that's another thing also, okay? So both saving and earning power are important. Not only saving is important. A lot of people say saving is very important, but no, earning power is also quite important. So they need to come together to make it a good thing, okay? Okay, so number seven, always have a monthly budget plan. Honestly, this is really very, very hard to achieve. Personally, I also find it hard to achieve, yeah, but I don't really spend much a month, so I guess I do have a monthly budget plan, but it's not like a like a well-defined budget plan, I will say like, okay, this month I can spend $500 on my credit card. Yeah, to hit the $500 in the UOB1 uh, the account la, to get my spending, then I can earn the interest back, right? So I earn the $400 plus back and then I spend $500. That's okay, right? Yeah, so I rely on interest to sustain my credit card bills. Not bad, right? Yeah, so anyway, uh, please try to have a monthly budget plan la. It's to help you to achieve your financial goals And then you make sure it's quantifiable How much you can spend on food How much you can spend on transport I know food is very hard Especially if you keep going out Then uh, your friends want to eat nice food Then you say uh, no money You look very stupid right Yeah. Uh, but no choice la. I mean if uh, this month is bad Then next month you don't go out huh? 
Okay, try to stick to it and then do not overspend beyond means. Don't apply too many credit cards and go crazy with the bills. Huh? Okay, also always have an optimal emergency funds. Okay, then have you heard of this uh, 50, 20 and 30 rule? I believe most people have heard of it. So it says like 50 percent is needs, 30% is wants and 20% is savings. But honestly, I think it's not enough. So what you should do is uh, perhaps you can have less wants and then uh, convert to the ones to savings instead so you have 50% needs and 50% savings so once is like um i mean okay maybe you have to have 10% once like you can have more savings because the, honestly uh we do need a lot of savings for our retirement in our old age judging by the way inflation is eating into our savings right okay especially if you're not investor uh, this is super important make sure you have a lot of savings okay yeah, so cut out clubbing, drinking, etc. Okay, so you have your goals and then make sure it's like a quantifiable. Lah. So these are examples of quantifiable goals. So is this your if your goal is something like that, right? Uh want to get rich. But this is not a goal. Lah. So you need to uh, quantify it. Okay? So this teach you how to like actually quantify it. Lah. Okay? Next we go on to the last point. Last point is to apply for credit cards with Sync Saver once you start working. So if you want to apply Credit cards with SingSaver, you can apply via my link below. Yeah, credit cards with SingSaver. Okay, so I got a lot of uh, credit cards in my SingSaver uh, network. Okay, so I have tons of free gifts. And then, honestly, uh, when I graduated from uni, I didn't know about this uh, SingSaver stuff. Then I just applied for a few credit cards and then I didn't get any of the free gifts. It was a waste. Yeah, so please, please do apply with SingSaver to make sure you get the free gifts, okay? So why, why selection of cards for different use? Whether you want it for cashback or you want it for mouse, okay, just go ahead. Yeah, easy to apply, only few clicks away with SingPass. So uh, just click through from the SingSaver link. My SingSaver link if possible, yeah, okay? You need these cards anyway, la. So but, but make sure you do not have too many cards and then keep spending a lot on each card, uh. yeah. But most people usually only stick to one card uh, because they either want cashback or mouse, so they usually like accumulate with one card. So, uh, make sure the card works for you in terms of the bank account as well. If you have watched my other videos, you have seen that uh, I also share on which bank accounts are the best and then uh, which credit cards you should get if you are looking at a bank account. Okay, yeah. So do not spend beyond means. Spend what you have only. Okay. So do not get into debt. Uh. that's a very important thing in your twenties. You do not want to get into debt. Okay. Uh. Unless it's house lah, yeah. I mean, no choice. Singaporeans' house are too expensive, right? Okay, so start today and repeat tomorrow. Okay, so all these good uh things that I wish I knew and you guys already know it because I have just shared them with you. Okay, so start today, repeat all this stuff tomorrow, and then it, your life will be better. Okay, so that's the end for today. Okay, I'm glad that you have come to the end of this video and stayed till the end of this content. Okay, honestly, it's like taking me a lot of time to do all this content for you guys. And then I feel very sad that nobody actually watches it. Yeah, okay, so you can see the number of views on my video is not very a lot. And whereas if I create content on like TikTok, I get much more views. Okay, so uh, I'm sad to say that I will not be creating so much videos anymore on YouTube because it's not achieving my targets that... Uh, I do want to get like 1,000 subscribers by uh, actually last year but I didn't achieve it and so far the way it has been going is not uh, growing in the way that I want it to so I decided not to spend so much time on here because anyway nobody appreciates it right there's so many fin, fin financial content creators on YouTube already and then I guess a lot of people are watching them yeah so I don't need to be one of them since uh, it's not working out for me okay I'll be focusing all my energy more of my energy not all my energy more of my energy on TikTok nowadays okay so you guys if you want to find me on TikTok you can find me on TikTok okay username is Johnny's the speak okay so uh, that's the end for today and if you guys have learned something new from this channel I hope you guys can help to share the video and uh, subscribe to my channel okay so that's the end for today bye everyone <laughs>